hydroponics made easy. All right, team. So you want to grow plants without soil, without pumps, and without turning your kitchen into a science lab? You're in the right place. We're diving into the world of hydroponics, but not the super complicated beep boop robot arm kind. We're talking about the wow, I can actually do this kind of hydroponics. These are the top three easiest hydroponic systems that even your grandma could set up. We're talking no plumbing degree required, no toolbox needed, unless you count scissors for opening a nutrient packet as a tool, which, okay, fair. The goal here is fast results, happy plants, and a very happy you, looking at your thriving indoor garden and feeling like a green thumb genius. Forget everything you thought you knew about needing acres of land or a PhD in botany. We're going to show you how to get lush, vibrant plants growing with minimal fuss, minimal mess, and maximum satisfaction. By the end of this, you'll be wondering why you didn't start sooner. So grab a notepad or just your amazing brain, and let's get ready to grow some awesome stuff the easy way. Alright, first up on our tour of super simple hydro systems is the legendary Kratky method. Now, if hydroponics had a chill mode, this would be it. Kicking things off with the Kratky method. This is hands down the simplest way to grow leafy greens, herbs, you name it. Imagine this, you take a jar, something like a good old mason jar, or even a repurposed food container. We love recycling here. Then you add your water, mix in some magic plant food, aka hydroponic nutrients, and then you plop in a net cup holding your little plant seedling. And that's it. Seriously, I know it sounds too good to be true, right? But trust me on this one. There's no electricity involved, which means no humming pumps, no wires snaking around, and no panicked calls to an electrician. There are absolutely no moving parts. It's the epitome of set it and forget it, at least for a good while. Your plant just kind of floats and grows. It's like a tiny self-contained ecosystem that pretty much runs itself once you've done the initial five minute setup. This is the system that makes you feel like a gardening god with minimal effort. One of the biggest wins for the Kratky method is that there are no pumps or power needed. Think about that for a second. This means you can put your little Kratky garden literally anywhere you have a bit of light. On a windowsill, on your desk at work, if your boss is cool, even in a classroom. It's incredibly versatile because it's not tethered to an outlet. This also means it's incredibly cheap to run because, well, it costs nothing in electricity. It's a win-win for your wallet and your green thumb aspirations. This system is absolutely perfect for growing things like lettuce, spinach, basil, mint, and arugula. Leafy greens and many herbs thrive in a Kratky setup because they are relatively fast growing and don't have super demanding root systems initially. You can get a continuous supply of fresh salad greens or herbs for your kitchen, all from a few simple jars. Imagine snipping fresh basil for your pasta straight from your countertop. That's the Kratky dream, and it's totally achievable. It's so satisfying to watch those leaves unfurl day by day. And here's a bonus that apartment dwellers or anyone who values peace and quiet will absolutely love. The Kratky method is totally silent. Because there are no pumps, no aerators, no gurgling water features, it's just your plant, quietly doing its thing. This makes it ideal for bedrooms, quiet office spaces, or anywhere you don't want the background hum of machinery. It's stealth gardening at its finest. Your little green friend will be your silent, productive roommate, asking for nothing but light and a little initial setup. So, what do you actually need to get started? The common materials are super accessible. First, a wide mouth mason jar is a classic choice. The wide mouth makes it easy to get the net cup in and out, and the glass lets you see the roots and water level, which is pretty cool. But honestly, any opaque container that can hold water and support a net cup will do. Think old coffee canisters, plastic tubs, get creative. Just make sure it's clean and ideally, blocks light from the nutrient solution to prevent algae. Next, you'll need a net cup. These are small plastic cups with lots of holes or slits that allow the roots to grow out and into the nutrient solution. You can buy these super cheap online or you can even DIY one from a plastic yogurt cup by carefully cutting or drilling holes in it. The net cup is what holds your seedling and the growing medium like a rock wool cube, suspending it perfectly above the water so the initial roots can reach down. 
Speaking of which you'll need a rock wool cube or a similar seedling plug. This is where your seed will germinate or where you'll place a tiny seedling you might have started separately. Rock wool is great because it holds moisture well for germination, but also allows for good aeration once the roots start to develop. It provides a stable base for your young plant as it begins its hydroponic journey, wicking up just enough moisture to get things started before the roots hit the main reservoir. And of course, the secret sauce, a good hydroponic nutrient mix. Alright, moving on to our second super easy hydroponic hero, the wick system. If Kratky is the set it and forget it king, the wick system is like its slightly more sophisticated cousin who still refuses to do any heavy lifting. This one's basically self-watering but with a clever little twist that makes it incredibly reliable and still wonderfully simple. It's another fantastic option if you're looking to grow plants without getting tangled up in pumps and tubes and it's especially good for certain types of plants. So, how does this magic work? Imagine you have your plant nestled in a pot, happy as can be. Below this pot you have a separate container, a reservoir, filled with that delicious nutrient-rich water we talked about. Now connecting the two is a wick. This could be a piece of cotton rope, a strip of felt, or a special nylon wick. This wick dips down into the nutrient solution and then snakes up into the growing medium around your plant's roots. It's like giving your plant its own personal straw. The beauty of the wick system is its passive nature, through the power of capillary action, which is the same science that allows a paper towel to soak up a spill. The wick slowly and continuously draws the nutrient solution upwards from the reservoir directly to the plant's roots. The plant then takes what it needs, when it needs it. This makes it the lazy gardener's dream, or perhaps more accurately, the gardener's dream. Because you're letting physics do the work for you. It's wonderfully efficient. Just like the Kratky method, a huge benefit here is that you still don't need any pumps or electricity. This keeps things beautifully simple, quiet, and cost-effective. You're not relying on any moving parts that could break down or require maintenance, this makes the wick system another excellent choice for off-grid growing, or for placing plants in spots where an electrical outlet isn't convenient. The simplicity is really its superpower, making hydroponics accessible to absolutely everyone, regardless of their technical skills. The wick system is particularly great for small herbs like thyme, oregano, chives, and even some smaller flowering plants. These types of plants generally don't have massive water demands and the steady, gentle supply of moisture provided by the wick is often just perfect for them. It prevents the growing medium from becoming waterlogged, which some herbs really dislike, but it also ensures they never completely dry out. It's a fantastic way to keep a little herb garden thriving on your windowsill or kitchen counter. Another cool thing about the wick system is that it's quite simple to scale up if you want to grow, say, two to four plants without much extra complexity. You could use a slightly larger reservoir like a rectangular plastic bin, and then arrange multiple pots on top, each with its own wick leading down into the shared nutrient solution. This allows you to expand your little hydro garden a bit without needing a whole new approach. It's a nice, gentle step up in capacity. Let's talk materials. For your reservoir, a plastic bin or even a sturdy food container works perfectly. Ideally, it should be opaque to block light and prevent algae growth in your nutrient solution. Algae will compete with your plants for nutrients and nobody wants that. Chapter 3. Deep Water Culture DWC light supercharging your growth without the super complexity okay are you ready to level up just a tiny bit if you've mastered the art of not killing a plant with the kratky or wick system or if you're just feeling a little adventurous and want even faster growth then i want to introduce you to deep water culture or dwc now don't let the name intimidate you we're talking about a dwc light version here Still super accessible for beginners but with the potential for some seriously impressive results. This is where things get exciting. So, what's the big idea behind DWC? It's beautifully simple. Your plant, usually sitting in a net pot, has its roots dangling directly into a nutrient-rich oxygenated water bath. Think of it like a spa day for your plant's roots. 
they get unlimited access to food, water, and crucially, oxygen, all at the same time. This constant availability of everything they need is what can lead to some really explosive growth. It's a very direct way to feed your plants. Now here's a cool thing. Technically, a very basic DWC system can work without an air pump, especially if you use a large enough reservoir and ensure there's a significant air gap between the bottom of the net pot and the water surface once the roots grow down. This is similar to the Kratky principle, where some roots are exposed to air. However, to really unlock the supercharged growth potential of DWC, an optional, but highly recommended, little aquarium air pump and an air stone make a huge difference. This little air stone, connected to the pump, sits at the bottom of your nutrient reservoir and bubbles away, infusing the water with dissolved oxygen. Plant roots need oxygen to breathe. Yes, roots breathe and super oxygenated water helps them absorb nutrients much more efficiently. This is what helps them grow like crazy. It's a small addition that can yield big returns in terms of plant health and growth speed. It's like giving your plants an energy drink, but, you know, a healthy one. The benefits of DWC, even the light version, are pretty awesome. First and foremost is the potential for rapid growth. Because the roots have constant access to oxygen, water, and nutrients, Plants can often grow much faster in a DWC system compared to soil or even some other simpler hydro methods. This makes it fantastic for leafy greens like lettuce and spinach, but also for slightly larger, hungrier plants like tomatoes or strawberries, especially if you give them enough space. Why does DWC promote such fast growth? It's all about that root zone environment. In soil, roots have to work hard to find water and nutrients, and oxygen can sometimes be limited. In DWC, especially with an airstone, the roots are bathed in a perfect solution. They don't expend energy searching, they just absorb. This allows the plant to focus all its energy on growing lush foliage, strong stems, and eventually, delicious fruits or vegetables. It's efficiency at its best. Another great thing about DWC is that it's easily scalable. You can start with a single plant in a 5-gallon bucket, which is a classic DWC setup. Your hydroponic journey starts now, so there you have it folks. Three incredibly easy ways to dive into the world of hydroponics without needing an engineering degree or a second mortgage. So what's best for you? If you want the absolute easiest lowest maintenance option, especially for things like lettuce or basil, Kratky is the easiest lowest maintenance. It's the true set it and forget it champion. If you're dreaming of a beautiful windowsill herb garden with plants like thyme or oregano that like consistent but not waterlogged conditions, the wick is great for windowsill herb gardens. It's like having a tiny silent plant sitter. And if you're feeling a little adventurous and want to see some seriously fast growth, especially for bigger crops or just for the fun of it, then DWC is the fastest growth if you're up for a mini upgrade with an optional air pump. My advice? start with Kratky for lettuce. It's so rewarding and simple. If you love it, and I bet you will, then maybe try DWC for some cherry tomatoes or bigger leafy greens. But whatever you do, don't overthink it. The most important thing is to just get growing. The joy is in the process and of course the delicious results. If this video helped you out, or if you've ever accidentally turned a vibrant house plant into a crispy critter, no judgment, we've all been there, please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. And for more Zero Fluff Hydroponics tips, tricks, and easy projects every week, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And hey, check the description below. We've got links to the exact starter kits we recommend for each of these systems, plus a free PDF checklist to help you get your first hydro setup going smoothly.